So say hello to Princess. All right, so so excited today because I've looked in the mail for this every day. My wife got this for Christmas. It is an unboxing of the Hollywood Rocks box set. Four CD. I haven't even opened it yet because I wanted to unbox it. But the box was so... I was going to show the part where I actually opened the box. Where's the thing at? Right there. Okay. But um, the box was so big that I had no idea that it was that. So here's the box. I just want to show you how big the box is. It came in this big old box. So I'm like... I'm thinking, ah oh, man, it didn't come again. What the hell is this? Freaking toothpaste and shit or whatever my wife ordered for food or whatever. And I open it up. Bam! All right, so let me open this in front of you uh, as I throw my shit in. Just look at my James Bond poster while I'm opening it. Original print, too. 1960. Seven, I think it is. You only lived twice. I bought it like 25 years ago. Ventura Boulevard. I had money at the time when I was a young man. Bought this. <laughs> bought this. <laughs> That's what young people buy with their money. All right, so I'm never gonna get this open. Driver thing. Alright. Uh, world's most boring humble. I watch uh, David Coverdale always do this on Weissing. And he has Excalibur, Excalibur knife to open up all his new vinyl releases. He releases every freaking week. He's so lucky. He gets to release his music on vinyl every week. And he cuts this off elegantly, not like what I'm doing now. He has it all covered in film and editing. There's more. No. Cut it again. There we go. There we go. I have not seen it in my own eyes. So I'll be making videos showing the uh, in-depth videos of this. I used to play in the Hollywood scene, so I know a lot of these bands, and I'm at, my band's actually in the book uh, companion of this. We're not on this, though. We're uh, Imaginal Pieces is on, in the book, though. Although it's a picture of the original lineup, and I'm not from the original lineup. I'm the, the second guy, which we call Fakies. Because another real original member, you know. So I'd be a fakey and imagine fakey and imaginable piece, you know. Right, so. But I'm an original member of X Idols and Dirty Truth. How about that? So. <laughs> Alright, so here it is. I should look at it myself. Here is all the bands. Ah, here's the back. So you pause it and read it, maybe. There you go. And then here's the other spine. Is there anything on this or this? No. All right. So let's open it up. Here we go. Seems to be a backstage pass right here with, uh, it looks like Phil Lewis. Yeah. I got a backstage pass, Phil. All right. I'm going to show up to the LA Guns concert at the Whiskey or something and I know they're playing there soon. Or, and it's, hey, I got my backstage pass. What? Let's see if it works. I bet it would work too. All right, here's the booklet. Wow. Look at this booklet. There's another a whole another booklet. I didn't even know that. Here's Rat R A T Rat in your direction demo version. I believe that's with Jakey Lee on it. Bitch. Oh, man, I used to hear about Bitch from my friend. He'd come back from L.A. Dude, I saw Betsy, bitch. She's so hot, bro. Mm -mm -mm -mm. My friend Dennis. I saw Odin. I saw Armored Saint. Look at you guys. Fast. You're pissed to get to the bands in here. Let's take a look. It's um, got Hollywood Rose, Hellion, Mickey Rat, Plain Jane. I'll, 
you should know when I'm talking who these bands are really. Candy Steeler, Dockin. These are the, this is the early '80s, and so that first disc, uh, Wasp, Black and Blue, The Joneses, uh, uh, The Zeros, All right. the Quiet Riot, Armored Saint. There's Armored Saint right there. Rat with one T. Bitch, Carol, Carrie Doll, Warrant Sin, Exciter. Now with an X, and that's a uh, George Lynch. That's a, that was his band's band. Uh, as Keel, I was just gonna read the band names. Poison, Liz, Lizzie Borden. Actually, I have all their albums, so I have American Metal on cassette over here. Um, L.A. Guns, Striper, White Snake, Demolition Galore, Harlow, uh, which I believe is the. I I was saying it was Harlot was the very first Sunset Strip band I ever saw, but actually I think it's Harlow, and I just thought they said Harlot. Because when I look at the photo and listen to the music, I'm like, I think that's what I saw. I have a really good memory, so, for some reason. Okay, so, L.A. Guns, Decry, Nitro, Faster Pussycat, Rough Cut, Tough, Odin, Salty Dog, Sound Barrier, uh, which I remember them, Black Band, uh, World War Three, um, Rock City Angels, The Sea Hags, uh, Keel, this is uh, late 80s, Keel, Jailhouse, London, Cherry Street, J uh, Junkyard, China, uh, Bang Tango, Black Cherry. I can't even freaking see with my glasses on. Black Cherry, um, King Cobra. Oh, wait, there you go. I'm not even showing you. King Cobra, uh, Motorcycle Boy, Tommy Gun, Stars from Mars, Cats and Boots, Lions and Ghosts, Rick Parker, recorded by SS for Space tape, and some Ex Excitals demos in his studio, Sandbox Studios. Hey, Rick. All right, so. Uh, I know, super, super nice guy. Tr uh, uh, where I lost my place. Oh yeah, Angora, Virgin, The Hangman, XYZ, Kill for Thrills, Damals. Um, I said that one already. And, and this is the era that I was really, really performing in. Was Electric Angels Burning to the late night, early 90s. My, so it was uh, Electric Angels, Burning Tree, Jet Boy, um, Big Bang Babies, Lip Switch. I'm playing with Lip Switch bass at two upcoming shows, it looks like. I'm, at least I'm, I'm going to do a practice. If I don't suck, I got the gig. <laughs> I don't suck, though, so I'm, I think I'm all right. I have pocket. I understand pocket. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so where was I? Um, yeah, opening for Funhouse. Two shows in March. I just got off the phone with him right now. I'm going to make a video of it, though. Separate video. All right, so, so I can put it in the title. So I can brag or something. Maybe I shouldn't say anything yet, though. But I do later. I'm going to upload this. <laughs> Lip switch. Cyanide kick. Darling cruel. Uh, Saigon kick. Rebel rebel. Spiders and snakes. Hardly dangerous. Skull. Yesterday's tear. Uh, oh, yeah. They, I remember uh, Lauren actually scared me when I first saw him perform. I'm friends with him a little bit. And uh, he was so intimidating with his eyebrows and just, like, I don't know what it was. It was just very, very, just staring at the audience like that. Scared the crap out of me at Club Laundry. See, Pretty Boy Floyd, Blackboard Jungle, Love Hate, Mondo Kane, Fizzy Bangers, and Alley Cat Scratch. Dang, this is freaking rock, dude. I'm going to listen to this. So I'm going to do uh, each song, I'm going I'm to do an in-depth uh, video for each song and each artist just to push this thing and get people to buy this. I should have bought this myself really already, but you know There's so much to get but then then again, there's not too many of these box sets out there There's only two that I know of it's this one and the rock and roll rebels and the of the and the sunset strip and uh, Just is freaking excellent too But these bands are excellent is what it really is and let's take a look inside here. What do we got here picture-wise? Striper, LA Guns. Let me flip through here. Let's go to my era since I'll actually might see some friends. The Malls. Now my engineer that used to record us, Imaginable Peace and X Idols and all that stuff, he was the guitar player in the Malls, Sean Friel, for a second, but I don't think he's in this photo. Although that does look like him right there. Right there. But I, I don't think that's him. And I, I, I think he was like me, like a, like a fakie, like not original member, you know? 
Burning Tree, I remember them. They were like a coconut teaser band. They took over the teaser. Okay, so Big Bang Babies. I used to see them in front of the... I remember seeing them. First time I saw them was in front of Denny's, dressed all glam. I was like, boy, Hollywood is much more glam than I thought. I didn't really realize how there was a bunch of ultra glam bands that, especially at the time, because Poison was starting to tone it down. And then there was a bunch of bands that were like, tone it down, tone it up. <laughs> the glam, that is. Saigon Saloon. Now, I did a cover of one of their songs, on an instrumental on piano. Uh, 1891 piano I have. And the songwriter from Saigon Kick wrote me and said that he never uh, imagined it on an 1891 piano played instrumentally like that. So I really like that comment. That's why I make these videos for comments like that. Hardly Dangerous. All, a lot of these bands are active. Hardly Dangerous. I just saw a video of them playing at the Rainbow, like in the back room. And they're still active. Awesome band. I did some lesson videos of them. Pretty Boy Flow. Love Hate. I love Hate is one of my all-time favorite bands, period. Just the drummer is ridiculous. The guitar, that whole band, really guitar player. Oh my god. That kind of guitar playing is my kind of guitar playing too. Like it's half slash half uh, Eddie Van Halen somehow, you know. Like it's an Eddie Van Halen guy could play like Eddie Van Halen but is reminded, don't always shred bro. You don't have to always shred. Eddie Van Halen doesn't always shred. If you think about it, Van Halen 1, he only shreds on half the songs. Hardly a solo, I ain't talking about love. Jamie's crying. You know, a bunch of them actually. Alley Cat Scratch. Yeah, I love that band too. Mondo Kane. I was listening to their song from this box set just to get an idea. Because I used to see their ad all the time. I never got to hear Mondo Kane. Until now, it rocked. Very, very beautiful acoustic guitar thing at the beginning. So I can't wait to hear it in my car because I have like a hip-hop style stereo, you know, with the big speakers in the trunk. Bought it when I was young, had it forever. It was what young people buy it for themselves. Uh, I, I doubt I would buy it now. Although, actually I probably would. Oh, here's a Cherry Street, a whole bunch of collage right here. I like collages, because then you get more bang for your buck for a page. I like when albums do that. like. Appetite for Destruction did that. Little tiny pictures. Although these are bigger, but... Oh. Flip switch. Danny just texted me. Really good talking to you. All right, that's good. I was just talking about that. If he's, a, if he's really bad talking to you, we change our mind. No. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. All right, so... And there you go. So I wanted to... I'm, I'm going to go get something to eat right now, but I had to open this real quick. I was like, should I eat or should I open this, unbox this? But the thing is, I'm going to go get something to eat and I'm going to go in my car. I'm like, if I do the unboxing before I eat, I could pop this in the car on the way and sit, and sit there, you know, and, and, and rock. That's what I'm going to do. All right, well, there you go. I'm going to, so stay tuned for this. I'm going to do the whole thing. And if you want, and it, of course I'm going to be talking over the songs a bit, and it's just going to be my phone filming it, so it's not like good quality. So I'm not like ripping off the songs. These guys shouldn't get pissed off about this. Matter of fact, they should be happy because I'm promoting it, you know. And all, actually, all the bands should have did this in the first place. Actually, they just don't do it. You know, I've been thinking about doing stuff like this for years. Okay, so here you go. <laughs> 